Hey guys, welcome back and I hope you're well. Today's video is all about autumn trends. I know we don't want to believe that autumn is coming, but it is. We're in September. It's coming fast and furious, we have to be prepared. So I had a little Google, I found five autumn trends in fashion that I think are super wearable. So these five trends are things that I think you guys are gonna really, really like because these are things that I would wear in normal day-to-day -day situations. They're not like just for Instagram or just for YouTube. These are fashion trends that everyone and anyone can pull off and can wear. So trend number one is all brown everything. So basically this trend is like I said, everything must be brown and I really like brown. I feel like brown could be the new black and I'm really happy to see more of this coming in to autumn 2021 and I think it's something that's gonna stick around. Obviously with my top here, this is actually part of the outfit. I liked it so much, I was like, I'm gonna wear that in the video. And um, obviously it is a little bit booby. I haven't got a bra on. I don't know what you would wear this top with. Do you wear just a nude bra and show it? I have got like those weird like nipple covered things on, but again, you can kind of see them through it. It's a very thin material kind of top. Um, I picked it up from ASOS, but I'm gonna show you the rest of the outfit and then we'll try it on as well. So I actually got these brown jeans to go with it. They have a split in the knee. They're very wide leg. Um, these are by the brand Stradivari Stradivarius. Never know how to say it, but I really like this. And as you can see, the two browns are very, very similar. However, this definitely isn't the kind of brown I was expecting. So I was thinking this would be more of like a, um, what am I thinking here? Like a caramel kind of tan slight brown, but it's actually a little bit more orange. It's kind of white and tan checked, which makes it look brighter. But this is kind of like a shirt to go over the top. So I think this is gonna make a really nice outfit and it's definitely gonna work with the all brown everything um, trend. To go with these, I actually bought these shoes as well. These are from ASOS. I really, really like these. I'm so into this kind of shape shoe. These look really flattering with so much. I've actually tried them on with my pajamas and they even make my pajamas look quite hot, which is saying something because my pajamas are from Primark about 10 years ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I really like these shoes. I figured let's just try this outfit on and I'll talk about it when it's actually on so you guys can see it properly. But all brown, first trend, so wearable, love it. So this is the all brown everything outfit. I don't think this <laughs> jacket is working for me. However, I really like this. I feel like this would be really cute with like a little white t-shirt and some leggings on with some trainers. So I don't hate this. However, it's not part of the trend. So we're gonna just take this off and discard this out of this trend because I feel like it's not the tone of brown that, ugh, if I can get it off, that I was hoping for. So. Bye bye. <laughs> the rest of the outfit I really like. Again, it's not easy to wear a bra. If you're not bothered about that, that's fine. But I really like the trend. I love the brown. I feel like this is an upgrade from your all black outfit. This is something a little bit more fun, but it's not too daring. Really like that. Outfit specifics, like I said, the top is definitely a little bit on the thin side, but it's fun, it's cute. It's nice for a little like night out if you're someone that likes to go clubbing or to the pub or something like that this could be cute again it looks nice if you've got a bit of cleavage <laughs> I don't have that but we're moving on from that one and um, so yeah the jeans are really nice they're a little bit snug on me I feel like slightly suffocating could have sized up around here and around me on thighs but I love the fact that they're kind of bootleg and they work really nicely with these fancy shoes, so yeah. So the next trend is definitely something that everyone here watching is gonna be able to pull out of their wardrobe. So this trend involves a sparkly dress and some knitwear. And basically this trend is your most fanciest dress paired with your most comfy knitwear and it makes it into a really casual outfit. But like a dressy dress with cozy knitwear over the top is definitely up my street. And I feel with lockdown, we all still want that kind of comfort, but with a bit of fanciness. <laughs> so this dress is from Maya, and this is from ASOS. Now this was actually the brand that I got my bridesmaids dresses in. And I really love this kind of green color. I think one of my bridesmaids had 
this kind of green colour. I don't know if it's exactly this minty green. It was more of like a neutral green. But I love this. If you're getting married, bridesmaid dresses, honestly. They are so flattering and beautiful and they photograph so nice. Um, but yeah, it basically has this sequin top and then this tulle skirt which goes all the way to the bottom. They do do shorter ones, but I thought I kind of like the idea of the tulle because I think... I really like how this material looks and I feel like it's really flattering and I just wondered how this is going to look for like a daytime look. I'm not sure but we'll go with it. And then I picked up this jumper which is from a brand called Only and I thought that the colours here were just perfect together. So this trend is maybe not as easy as I first thought. I feel like I definitely could have done with a jumper that cinches me in here especially with the tulle. I feel like if this had stopped maybe here this is definitely a more flattering outfit, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, I really still love this trend. I feel like it's going to be really, really helpful if you have got that dress that's right and that jumper that's right. Paired together, they could make quite a quirky outfit. I think it's a great way if you've got a dress like this that you're never going to wear again, say you've been a bridesmaid or say you've gone to a wedding, I feel like it's a really good way to reuse your wardrobe rather than buy a new item. So I like it. I feel like it's going to take a little bit more work than maybe like the all brown trend, but I feel like it does work. With the right items, this could be a trend for autumn, but also forever. I said it. I said it. <laughs> trend number three, we have cutouts. Now, this trend, in hindsight, should have been easy, but it was very, very difficult because everything was sold out. Every single thing I found that had a fancy, like, 90s style cutout was sold out of my size and most sizes, to be honest. And I'm blaming it on Love Island. I feel like Love Island, the girls just wore, like, cut out everything and everyone has jumped on the bandwagon, which is fine. It's good. It's going to be a trend in autumn. So I hope you all enjoy the cutout items. The only thing that I found that I liked was this dress. So this is by ASOS Design. It's a really nice like soft material. I am slightly worried that it's gonna be a bit short on me um, because I do have a longer body, but we'll give it a go and see. But as you can see, it has this cutout detail here. So the collar is actually on a button and that meets up here. And then this will show your kind of chest area. Now, when I think of the cutout trend, I'm thinking more like skimpy black dresses with holes cut out. You know, like the proper like Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears kind of era. I feel like that is where we're getting our cutout details from. And that is exactly what I wanted to show you guys. However, this will have to do for now and you'll just have to believe me and trust me when you go into a shop or you go on ASOS or H&M or wherever you shop and you see a vest top with a little cutout detailing and it's in your size, you want to nab it because you're going to be wearing it a lot in autumn. Layering it and stuff like that, it's going to look great. So yeah, I picked this up anyway. I thought this was a really nice kind of autumn winter dress anyway. And I really like the fact that it's the brown again, brown is on trend, <laughs> with the black because it means I can pair it with black boots or black tights when it gets a bit chilly as well. So we'll give this a go and try this on. But yeah, cutouts is going to be a really big trend and I'm living for it because I feel like cutouts is a way to show a little bit of skin without showing too much skin. We're all for that here. <laughs> okay, let's just face facts here. This dress is far too short for me. It does not suit my figure at all and I definitely need either a tan on the legs or some black tights and boots. How I like the cutout trend. I like this. I feel like if this was a little top with some jeans, that could work really nicely. I feel like this works, I like it, it's bringing me my 90s vibes back, just not in this outfit. So if you do see something cut out, pick it up, give it a go, make sure your dress is long enough for your body. <laughs> like if it was there, it'd be cute. Not there. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. Okay, so next up I feel like this is always a little bit of an autumn kind of trend anyway, because obviously we all know winter is meant to be party season, sequins, glitter, all that jazz, it all comes out in the shops. However, apparently it's not just for parties. Autumn is all about the sequins. And again, I'm really loving it because I think we've probably all got a sequin piece in our wardrobe that we just don't ever wear. The thing is with this trend, it's about pairing sequins together. I'm not sure if I would wear this to um, Tesco, let's put it that way, but 
You can wear your sequin top with some jeans and that is a trend in itself. So I'm just saying if you've got some sequins, don't put them in the loft, <laughs> don't eBay them, get them out, wear them, embrace them because sequins are gonna be here to stay. So as you can see, I've got this top. I think this is an ASOS one. Yeah, this is an ASOS one and I love this. I love the fact that it's this peachy nude shade and then the actual sequins are transparent. I feel like that is so pretty. And again, this could be a really beautiful like wedding top. Maybe if you want a tulle skirt to go with it or something like that. But also this could be really, really lovely with a pair of jeans. However, the trend says sequins paired with sequins. So again, I don't know why I've gone for so much brown. It must have been in my head somehow. But yeah, I picked up this skirt again. I think this is from ASOS Design. Um, I love the fact it's got an elasticated waist because you know that sometimes sequins can be a little bit spiky. I feel like that is going to avoid that issue. And then it's just basically this really beautiful like swingy skirt. And I feel like these colours together are just so perfect. So yeah, sequins on sequins. I'm here to, I'm here for it. This top is actually beautiful. It has like little beads on it as well. I didn't actually realise that. Um, but yeah, I really love this top. I think that is so special. I am a fully fledged member of the all sequin team. I feel like this is actually a really great outfit for anything to do with partying. However, I don't think I'd be wearing this to Tesco. Gonna be honest, I feel like there's a time and place for full on sequins. However, I do really like the top and I feel like this paired with some jeans could definitely work for like an evening meal or a cinema trip. However, I do think the whole lot together is a bit out there and is definitely something that I would definitely have to have a little bit more confidence to wear out in public for a kind of day out casual vibe. However, I really like this outfit as a whole. I feel like this skirt is perfect because it's the brown colouring that we were saying about before with the first trend. What I will say though is these shoes have gone with literally every single outfit, every single, single trend that we have here, these have worked. So these actually might be a keeper. And you know what? They're really actually quite comfortable. So it's a thumbs up for the shoes. Thumbs up for the sequin trend, but like I said, this is definitely something that I would wear to a special occasion. But the top, I could definitely see myself pairing this with some jeans. And then the last trend that we have is something that I really, really love, and that is a complete one colour outfit. Now, I feel like a lot of us would stray away from that. We would maybe think like, oh my god, no way, I'm not wearing pink head to toe. I'm not wearing blue head to toe. But why not? I think it's because you feel like you've got to be brave, you've got to be a fashionista, an Instagrammer to do that kind of stuff, but you really, really don't. And I feel like sometimes we all need, myself included, we all need to embrace colour a little bit more. I opened my wardrobe recently and it's just full of like black. And I just thought, you know what? I need to embrace colour. I need to start wearing colour in my life. It cheers you up. It's brighter. It brings out colours in your complexion. And I just feel like... This trend is for anyone watching out there that's a little bit safe with colour, that only sticks to like black, white, cream, neutrals. Just go and have a little shop next time, pick up some colours and introduce it one by one and I think you'll be impressed because I actually really, really enjoy wearing colour but I always forget to because it's too daring. So this trend is for me also, but for anyone out there as well that just needs that little kick up the bum to go and buy some colourful outfits give it a go and I feel like this will be the final result you might not want to wear all one color everything straight away but I feel like this is a bit of me <laughs> so this is a Topshop suit and again this was a really hard trend to find when I was shopping online because the whole point of this trend is that every color item is the same tone and the same color so basically you want cohorts you want three pieces that kind of thing but you also could buy like a pair of pink jeans and pair it with a pink top. But those are the kind of things that you need to see in real life to know what kind of colours are going to turn up. So this is why I went for this because this is actually a three piece. So we have these suit trousers which I really like and they've got a little split at the bottom. Admittedly this trend for me I would prefer something a bit more casual. I feel like this is a little bit too smart for me but if you were a blazer girl or a suit girl definitely have a look at Topshop because I feel like they have some really lovely pieces. So yeah, this is kind of like a mauvey colour which I really like. And then you've got a blazer to match and a top. Now, I just want to talk about this top because this top is barely a top. 
I don't know how they can get away with marketing this as a top. It's more like a bra. Again, Love Island strikes because I feel like some of the girls on Love Island didn't even wear the top. They just wore the blazer with some like boob tape. That's all good and well, but for people that actually want to cover their modesty, I feel like this top is maybe a little bit too small. However, it was all in the trend and I thought we'd give it a go. Okay, so first up, this suit is a zero from me. This top fits terribly and also there is not much of it. There's not enough of it, in fact. It's just a really bad fit. It basically should be like a bra size top because it's basically a bra, but whatever. Um, and I don't really like the colour of this. It's giving me bad vibes. I don't really like this tone. I feel like it's a bit of a dad suit. Not that there's anything wrong with a dad suit, but it's not the vibe I was going for. <laughs> this was a really quirky purple. It would work, but I love this trend. I feel like the inspiration photos are beautiful. I love the trend itself. This is just a no. I feel like with this, I'm definitely gonna embrace it a bit more. I'm gonna try and find like pink jeans with a pink top and all that kind of vibe. I feel like the brown outfit is basically this trend anyway, but it's meant to be bright, it's meant to be funky, it's meant to be fun. So yeah, even though the suit is maybe a no, I feel like it's cute in photos. Let's look at these tags. I feel like it's cute in photos. I just don't like this bra top situation but it's given me the vibes that i was after which is the all-in-one co-ord i feel like a lot of us will have co in our wardrobes already because they've been on trend before so let me know what you think what you think about the suit it could be cute on the right person so there you go guys those are five autumn trends that anyone can wear i hope this video gave you a little bit more confidence to be a bit more daring with your autumn wardrobe but also if you're having a shopping session you now know what to look for and if not you just want to pick some items that you already own from your wardrobe i hope that this helps i think my favorite has to be the fancy dress with cozy knitwear just because I can think of so many dresses from the part of my wardrobe that I don't wear and then so many cozy jumpers from the part of my wardrobe that I al always wear and I feel like those like mixing in the middle or making this like trend baby it just makes me very happy I feel like I can make some really fun new outfits out of that so hopefully you guys feel the same let me know what your favorite trend out of the five was down below in the comments and if you like this video give it a nice big thumbs up and I'll see you again very soon for another one. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.